the great harbor ship of Bentus. The last of the Bentusi. The time of prophecy is at hand. In the beginning, the great progenitor Sajuk forged the three cores to unlock the mystery of hyperspace. But the three became separated and the progenitors faded from memory. For eons, the cores drifted apart until the first came to the Ventusi. The second came to your ancestors. In their blindness, they became as the Vega are now, and a great war consumed them also. Before their final hour, they secreted their core from the Emperor and carried it with them into exile. It remains in your possession. The core trinity must be united. The three will awaken Sajuk. Only the power of the great progenitor can defeat Makan and the Vega. This is your destiny. Seek it out among the asteroids of Gena. The end time has begun. Farewell. Hello my friends, this is Solar System, that's S-I-S-T-I-M, and welcome to Let's Play Homeworld Remastered. Getting the formalities out of the way, I am the owner and curator of Let's Play Homeworld Remastered.com, and I will be playing Homeworld Remastered on a core i3 machine with 8GB RAM, a solid state 120GB hard drive, and a Radeon R290X 3GB video card. Today let's talk about replays, why they're such an important part of any game's life cycle, especially multiplayer games, and how they're different from screen capturing. Let's say you're the average gamer with a median PC gaming rig or gaming console and you're playing the gaming equivalent of the flavor of the month. You don't know and don't care to know how to screen record what you're playing, and even if you did, maybe you're not willing to put up with the detrimental effects most screen recording software has on your frame rate. So you're trucking along, enjoying your game, when suddenly something incredible and unlikely happens on your screen. In your mind you're thinking, if only I had some way of going to the, back to that moment and sharing it with everyone. This is kind of a nightmare, worst case scenario for gaming enthusiasts and pro gamers. To have that one moment lost forever. Now let's talk about the solution, and I'm going to give you a great example. World of Tanks has an excellent replay feature, and because of that one fact, sharing insane gaming moments like the one I just described becomes a far more accessible item to accomplish. It's given players the ability to go back and open a 1 megabyte or so file, saved automatically by the game client, and either share the replay itself by sending it via email or uploading, or view the replay itself while the player screen captures at his or her leisure. More importantly to a vlogger like myself, I can view a player's replay while screen capturing in a manner that I think is best, then, hopefully, produce high quality content for my subscribers. Of course, back when the original Homeworld and Homeworld 2 were released, we couldn't expect software producers to know how connectivity would evolve to the point that anyone with a computer and an active internet connection would give birth to something like YouTube. In fact, YouTube has changed the way in which people think about their gaming experience from the outset. Whenever I sit down to play a couple of rounds of my favorite game, I am comforted by the idea that if something unlikely happens, especially if entirely by accident, I'm just a few clicks away from sharing that amazing moment with the world. On top of all this, sharing your gaming experience with other players has the potential to make everyone involved better players. Aside from the daily enjoyment of hopping on YouTube at the end of a busy day and catching up with my favorite pro gamers, I seek advice from the same people. Which brings me to my primary and final point. Will Gearbox grace us with a complete replay feature? 
or am I going to have to screen record every game I play just in case? Let's not forget that this game is remastered and is not a new release. As of this moment, I can play Homeworld 2 on my gaming rig, and possibly even the original Homeworld with a bit of fiddling, so what am I paying for? Better graphics? Come on Gearbox, don't disappoint us. And with that I will close. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope to see you on the next episode. This is Solar System, good day, and good hunting.